So thinking about this question of navigating the credentialing marketplace, uh, I already confess that I moved on Monday. So let me tell you just a quick little um, anecdote here. So my husband and I, two kids and a dog, we're moving and we're moving from a small house to a bigger house. My dad and his wife are also moving. They're moving from a bigger house to a small house. And uh, we both have real estate agents. We sold first. He cannot sell. Um, his house, which is a bigger family home. There were five of us at home. And, and so I think when we um, consider navigating the space, we have to think about the different generations of learners and workers and their entry points into the marketplace. So for my husband and I, we immediately went online. And the entire experience, including our interactions with the realtor, was via text, online signature and Zillow. And I even got my data reported to me every day to see how many people were looking at my home and how many had saved it and where, where were we headed. Um, my dad's realtor is a friend who he grew up with and uh, it got posted in the local newspaper, um, which is perfect for my dad, but not perfect <laughs> for a young family like mine who I didn't even think about looking in my local newspaper for a new home. Right, so as we consider how um, we coordinate navigating this very complex, often fragmented um, space that people are going in and out of, uh, I think that it makes um, sense for us to think about the various needs for navigating that space. Mm -hmm. If you are an aging adult learner, or if you are a young millennial, or somewhere in between, if you are a first generation student, what are the different needs and um, access points that are already available to you? I really like, and I, I so appreciate that UMUC is in the room, and, and others like Thomas Edison, a lot of our um, folks who are part of the competency-based education network, we see a lot of the CBE institutions, competency-based ed institutions, who are sort of front runners in rethinking navigational supports and student support services and unpacking them a little bit. Um, because I think we're realizing that as the higher education landscape is evolving, we need to, as a professional community, become more adaptable and malleable with that. And as the face of today's college student continues to change, um, we need to mimic that malleability that we've done on the academic end, but now on the student support services end. Mm -hmm. 